Hey, Florida Travelers, Krista here, and I recently visited both Fun Spot Orlando and Kissimmee to give you guys a good side-by-side -side comparison between the two parks if you were wondering if you should visit one or the other or maybe even both. Let's get into it. Fun Spot America is a family-run theme park that has multiple locations in Orlando, Kissimmee, and Atlanta. If you're visiting Central Florida and thinking about adding a day to Fun Spot in Orlando or Kissimmee to your vacation, I'm going to go over the similarities, the differences, pros, and cons of both Central Florida parks to help you decide which one might be better for you. So let's start with the similarities. There are quite a few similar things that you can expect from both parks. First, admission is free. Regardless of if you're going to Fun Spot Orlando or Fun Spot in Kissimmee, you can walk into either park without having to pay a dime. Second, the parking is also free, which is something that I absolutely love. If you do want to ride any of the rides at either location, you can purchase a Fun Pass or a Mega Fun Pass, which will give you an all-day access to all of the rides and attractions for the entire day. One of the biggest attractions that you can expect at either park are the go-karts. And Fun Spot America is known for these amazing multi-story go-kart tracks that are absolutely awesome. And it's nice to know that you can go to either location and be able to enjoy them. The next similarity that you'll notice the minute that you walk into the park is that they both have giant sky coasters. And the coolest part of these sky coasters is that they're the largest and second largest sky coaster in the world. The largest sky coaster is in Kissimmee and the second largest sky coaster is located in Orlando. After that, the next thing that you're going to notice is that there is a mix of these large thrill rides as well as these carnival type rides. And there are other similarities, but those are the ones that really stood out to me the most. If I am missing anything at all, definitely let me know in the comments below. Also, if you are finding this information helpful, I would love it if you could help my channel by hitting that like button and subscribe if you would like to get more ideas like this to do during your Florida vacation. I release a new video every week and the best way to be able to see them is by subscribing. Now let's go over the differences. And one of the biggest differences that you'll notice right away is going to be the size. The Orlando location is significantly bigger than Kissimmee with many more rides, coasters, and attractions in general. Like for instance, in Orlando, there's a splash pad and even a whole area dedicated to Gatorland, which is another family-run theme park in Orlando. The Kissimmee location, on the other hand, is a lot smaller and not quite as polished as the Orlando counterpart. Nevertheless, there are a few things that really stand out about this location. In addition to the largest sky coaster in the world, one thing that really stood out to me the most was that the Kissimmee location is really intertwined with Kissimmee's Old Town. So if you're not familiar with Old Town Kissimmee, it's an entertainment district that has a number of different unique shops, restaurants, and bars. And when you're visiting Fun Spot Kissimmee, they're so blended together that you almost don't notice when you leave one and enter the other. So if you have a lot of family members that would rather shop than ride on a ride, this location might be the better choice for you. Also, if you do end up visiting Old Town on a Saturday afternoon, they have this awesome weekly car show that has been a local tradition for over 30 years. The car show starts at 1 p.m. and has a variety of cars that show up from hot rods, muscle cars, and antiques, and it gives me this really fun opportunity to be able to put together a cool car montage like this. So you're probably wondering what the pros and cons are for each location. So let's start with the pros. 
In Orlando, one of the biggest pros is gonna be the size. It's a lot bigger, there are more attractions and rides, and just more things to do in general. So if your biggest thing is for it to feel like a theme park with rides and attractions, then you're gonna wanna head over to the Orlando location. The biggest pro for the Kissimmee location is that since it is very blended with Old Town, there are a lot more shops and restaurants to choose from. So if the majority of your party would much prefer to like walk around, shop, and, and have drinks, then you're better off going to the Kissimmee location. Another big pro about the Kissimmee location is that it has a really awesome wooden roller coaster. I have to admit, it's really fun and completely unique with its full inversion, which you don't expect from a wooden roller coaster. Regardless of which location you head to, they are both a lot less crowded than what you would see at any of the major theme parks. Another big pro is that if you're not a morning person, both parks are open until midnight. So if you're looking for even more things to do, even after the major theme parks close, you can always head over to Fun Spot for additional hours of fun. So now let's go over the cons for each location. Well, for the Orlando location, because it is the flagship location, it is going to be a lot more crowded than Kissimmee, especially if you arrive later in the day. The con for the Kissimmee location is that it is significantly smaller with a lot less rides than the Orlando location. So if you are expecting a similar park to Orlando, just in Kissimmee, then you're going to be a bit let down by the size. The Kissimmee location also isn't as polished as the Orlando location, but it does have a lot of that fun spot charm, even if it doesn't have as many rides to enjoy. If you do want to get a more in-depth look at the fun spot in Orlando, then make sure to check out my fun spot Orlando video that just popped up on the screen. Until next time everyone, I hope you have an amazing day and go out and enjoy some Florida sunshine.